Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over MATLAB tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the first part of a series of tutorials on graphics in MATLAB. And in this tutorial, we will begin with two dimensional plots. And the first type of plot which we will be studying in two dimensional plots is the parametric plot. So let us understand how to plot graphs in MATLAB using the parametric plots. Let us see an example. We have to plot a circle which is having center at the origin and a radius of one unit using the parametric form. So this is the equation of circle in parametric form. The x coordinate is given by r cos 2 pi t where r is the radius of the circle and t is the parameter. Similarly, the y coordinate is given by r sin 2 pi t. So we will first do this using the plot function. First, we need to define the parameter which is t in this case. We have to set the lower limit, the upper limit and the step in which we will be incrementing this parameter. In this case the lower limit is 0, the upper limit is 1 and the step is 0 0.01. After that we have to use the plot function. The first will be the x coordinate. So the x coordinate is r cos 2 pi t. In this case the radius is 1 so r becomes 1 and rest of the things are the same. The y coordinate is r sin 2 pi t. When you use the plot function, it is expected that this is a vector. The arguments to the plot function are vectors. So when you have written this parameter like this, this t actually becomes a vector. So when you write cos 2 pi t, this is actually a vector which has values starting from cos 2 pi 0 till cos 2 pi 1. So the values in between are cos 2 pi into 0 0.01 then cos 2 pi into 0 0.02 and so on. And similar is the case for the y coordinate. So we have got our plot here. Now if you see this plot, you will wonder whether it is a circle or an ellipse. Actually this is the circle. But since our screen is a rectangle, this plot adjusts itself so that it fits into the screen. If you see the coordinates, the x coordinate starts from minus 1 till plus 1 and the y coordinate also starts from minus 1 and ends at plus 1 which means that the length and the height are the same but it appears as if they are not same. So in order to make it proportionate look like a circle we have to use another command. So now as you can see the x and the y axis have been transformed in such a way that this looks like a circle. Since I have written the command axis square the axis have been changed to look like a square which means that the boundaries of the axis have been changed so that they form a part of the square. Next, let us use this parametric form in the easy plot function. In this case, you need not mention or you need not define the parameter first. You just have to use the easy plot keyword, then give the x coordinate as the first argument, cos t, the y coordinate as the second argument, sin t, and then you have to specify the limits 
of the parameter which is t in this case from 0 to 2 pi. So this is the plot that you get. Now this plot looks like a circle by default so you need not use the axis square command in this case. But even if you use it, let us see what happens. Now the axis has been changed in such a way that your plot exactly fits within the axis. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part, we will see how to work with counter plots and implicit plots. So till then, goodbye and take care.